listen, I got something really important to tell you today. Are you going to listen to me? Are you going to listen to me? Because if not, I'm going to have to show you my spaghetti hair. Yeah. You want the spaghetti hair? This confetti hair? Or do you want the linguine hair? It's going to be one or the other, folks. That's all we got today. Ha! Angel hair. I meant to say angel hair. Hey, folks. Uh, I've been a little disappointed with Meta's movement sample, which uh, seems really cool, super promising. It has all sorts of nice body tracking stuff, hand tracking stuff, and face and eye tracking stuff, but it does not work with metahumans. And so uh, quite a few months ago, I tried to convert their whole movement sample to work with metahumans in a very janky way um, with limited success. And I kept hoping that there was going to be a metahuman version of all this, but um, I never actually saw one. And to my knowledge, one still has not come out. So uh, I just want to show you very quickly the nonsense going on in here and let you know that uh, this is something that I've wanted to keep working on, but have continually not found time. So I have decided to pass this spaghetti mess on to you, dear VR slash Unreal slash digital human people, where I am basically very manually taking the data that comes out of the dummy Oculus avatar, which we just saw a second ago, and taking the different expressions and piping them into uh, the closest equivalents I could find, kind of eyeballing it into the metahuman skeleton. Um, in theory, this should be something you could do in a more native way because the whole movement sample app is supposed to be able to translate bones to different locations. I couldn't get it to work, um, but this is a thing that kind of works. And on top of that, I've built kind of a fun little uh, virtual VTuber studio thing that I'd like to, to walk you through. So let's start with just, um, let me grab the controllers and then we press play. And um, I wanna show you what's actually happening in VR. So we've got this spectator cam view, a modified spectator camera, hi. And I gotta adjust the um, actual location of where I am. So let's reset the view. Okay, here we go. So I got my hands, right? And uh, to you right now, it just looks like I got a metahuman there, but when you're in VR, you actually get a, a slightly more dynamic view. So I can actually show that to you here, not there, over here. And what you have is a, a nice little view that basically gives you a floating um, dampened screen that tells you what your audience is seeing. Again, imagine you're like a VTuber or doing some kind of multiplayer experience or a live theater performance. And uh, this is kind of handy. So you get to see what the flat audience is seeing. And then there's also some nice little uh, ways to very easily via spacebar do things like cycle between a couple different preset cinematic cameras. And you could have a bunch of these. I've just set up a couple. So it's just spacebar. Um, I think I might have also mapped it to one of the Oculus buttons. Um, easy way to toggle between things. And of course, if I'm here and talking and talking and talking, uh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, the hands are a little bit broken, a little bit janky, um, but you know, it's a start. We got some like basic IK, I got blinking, my mouth does move. Some of the expressions work fairly well. And, um, and then, yeah, and I can kind of move between those different views. And also I can just kind of freewheel it too. I can just be in the spectator cam controls here and kind of, uh, pick whatever view I want. And from this angle, you might see a little bit of how uh, the dummy version is translating, um, even just with the body there. But yeah, I think it's also particularly interesting to see the view that I have from VR here, right? So basically you have your screen and your screen is, hey, that's what everyone's seeing. And then you have your, your dummy guy here who is giving you like the full range of motion that you currently don't get with the metahuman. You get that full body tracking setup, that stuff's all pretty great. And um, then I've just got a whole bunch of other controls in here as well. So if you wanted to start doing something like um, changing the pixel streaming density that is mapped to one, two, three, all the way up to uh, nine. And what you'll notice is that doesn't actually affect the VR spectator camera. So that's entirely about your experience in VR. If you're trying to optimize for the experience other people are having, um, or you know, you're on lower end hardware, then you can start to do this to bring down the load of having this experience in VR. So as I just press this button, I can see everything getting like a little bit blurrier in VR, but that would be able to help my frame rate. 
Um, if I press the backslash, I'm going to get like the full frame rate readings there. So we're hitting 72 right now. Might actually be locked at that at the moment. So I could, in theory, bring that up to 90 uh, or even 120. Um, spacebar once again, giving me my different views here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, some things that are broken, but maybe something you might want to work on. I could press the P key here, and the P key should enable physics. And the whole idea of physics is supposed to be to stop any kind of um, self-intersection, which, as we can see, not quite working right now. But yeah, the idea would be that we're trying to stop the body from hitting itself. So if my body is a little bit different from my avatar's body, then we are going to um, make sure that exactly what's happening right now here isn't happening. And you see we got almost like a puppet marionette thing going on right now. So that's not quite right. Um, so that's happening with the P key, and then I do this and it goes back to something a little more normal. Um, what else, what else, what else? If you want to risk uh, going from hair cards to hair strands, which will probably crash everything for you, because like right now, you know, we got some like decent hair physics stuff, but if I press the J key, it might, there we go. Oh, there's hair cards, that's hair cards. Yeah, nice hair cards. <laughs> and then if I go back to strands, Oh, that's so interesting. Strands um, shouldn't be on right now, unless they're just on in the spectator view and off in the VR view, because that's the idea is in VR mode, you can't um, do strands usually without crashing, but maybe we're just kind of getting the effect of it in the spectator mode. Anyway, J key right now cycles between those two. Um, fascinating. I mean, I love that it looks like um, confetti in there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I mean, we can just kind of take a quick look. I mean, I've got the backspace key to do a quick little like reset of my position. Um, I've got this whole little like basic stuff blueprint. Yeah, start with no foliage. No, <laughs> that's from a, another sample that I've done. Um, yeah, discard all screen messages. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. Use cards instead of strands one, as long as the head mounted display is enabled. So maybe it only happens in VR, but not in the spectator camera. Um, I was messing with some quality settings, so backspace to restart level, uh, escape to quit game. Uh, oh right, it's the delete key that actually does the, the reset, but here's uh, the zero key to cycle through just some basic render quality settings. There's all the pixel density stuff, one through nine, just again affecting the VR view. There's the cards instead of strands, one to zero, and backslash to turn on stat detail slash stat none. Um, okay, anyways, I hope that is um, reasonably helpful. And uh, if you want to work on this, I'm going to put the GitHub link down below. And have a great day. Thanks, folks.